Hi, it's uh, Jonathan Quayle again for um, today's Life Builder daily quote, inspirational quote and uh, reflection. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting in the garden as you can see. Hope you've had a good weekend. Um, so, the quote I've chosen for today is one from uh, my favorite book and spiritual teaching called The Course in Miracles. Uh, I've been uh, studying and reading and teaching the course for over 13 years now and um, it's one of those books it's it's an amazing book because it um, it, it never fails to inspire um, I'm reading things I know I've read many times before and um, there's there's still a, a deep message there it seems like the more you work with it um, the more you understand and uh, the more meaningful it becomes um, which is quite unusual because a lot of books you read them once or twice and you go okay yeah I got it so um, the quote today is um, from A Course in Miracles, and um, I'll uh, I'll read it to you. It um, starts with, yeah, I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience, and I decide upon the goal I would achieve. Everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for, and receive as I have asked. So I'm going to unpack that a little bit for you. Um, if you really think about that quote, it's enormously profound. Um, it's a quote that asks us to take total responsibility for our lives. Uh, not to blame or uh, accuse or attack anyone or anything outside ourselves. Because um, we perceive that someone else, something else, is to blame for our um, discomfort, unhappiness, misery, suffering, whatever it is. Uh, is to recognize that uh, we are actually responsible for creating everything in our lives. Now, that might seem to be a bit of a stretch to you, um, but ultimately, from the highest point of view, the highest spiritual truth, it's true. Um, because uh, all of this that we see around us is mind-created, and we've all been part of making that, uh, making that up. Um, and so, on a higher level, whatever happens to you, in this, uh, this world, of course calls the world an illusion or a dream, whatever happens to you in this, in this illusion or dream, uh, you have created on some level. At some point we decided that um, we, we wanted to embark on this mad adventure into a dream or an illusion, and so whatever happens after that point, uh, we're actually responsible for. So uh, whatever you see outside of yourself that isn't pleasant, that isn't nice, Really, it's uh, and it triggers a, a, an emotion, a thought that's not that's not pleasant or nice in you. Um, what it it's actually saying to you is that you're responsible, uh, and so we feel guilty for that. Um, and the course talks about guilt and says guilt is the is the source of all evil. It's the source of of all pain and suffering and misery and ultimately death and sickness. So. Uh, we have to, we have to, yes, learn to accept our, our total responsibility. Uh, but in doing that, we can then let it go. We can stop this futile mechanism of uh, projecting. So what we do to try and um, get rid of that guilt is we try and uh, project it out onto someone or something else. Um, and that projection is called blame. So by giving our, our guilt to someone else, by blaming them, we feel temporarily relieved of that guilt um, uh, because someone else has got it. The problem is the more you give something, the more uh, that you affirm its reality. So if you keep giving guilt in the form of blame and attack and accusation, blame and complaint, I call it the ABC program of the ego, then um, you'll keep experiencing it. It doesn't go away. Maybe you get a temporary relief, but um, sooner or later something else triggers you and you, you embark on the same process of projecting, blaming, accusing, complaining, um, and it doesn't really solve the problem because if you're... Uh, if you're feeling guilty and you're projecting your guilt and you in accusation, blame and complaint all the time, you're not going to be very happy. You probably know that by now. Um, that's not a very happy state to be in. So what's the alternative then? Well, by taking total responsibility and saying, okay, so this is, this is ultimately my creation, my miscreation, if something negative has happened. You can also then choose, because you've taken responsibility back, into your mind. You can choose also to let it go. 
So instead of projecting and making it real and, and, and embarking on this really futile process of accusation, blame and complaint, which gets you nowhere except um, more misery, more pain, more suffering, more unhappiness, um, you can go, okay, so I don't have to do that anymore. I can let it go. Uh, I can choose to, to see this whole program. I can choose to see what's happening. Uh, observe the guilt as it arises. Observe the, the temptation to project that guilt, uh, to uh, accuse, blame and complain uh, someone else or something else. Um, and, uh, and go, I'm not going to do that anymore. I can, I can, I can let this all go. And, and really deny its reality. Say, well, if this isn't ultimately true, if guilt isn't ultimately true, then whatever um, negative thing that's apparently happened outside of me, that, that is a projection of that, and, and my response to that, uh, is also not true. Uh, it's, it's false, it's a lie. Um, my, my ego, which um, believes in guilt uh, fundamentally, is just trying to trick me into, uh, into buying into its um, delusional thought system of uh, sin, guilt, fear, and attack. And so I, I refuse to play that game anymore. And in the end, that, this, is, this is your only hope um, in, in this world, where we continuously do get challenged. Things outside ourselves uh, ping us every day. Something happens, ping, ping. Uh, you, you have a conversation that's not nice. Someone makes a, um, a nasty remark at work. You get passed over for a promotion. Uh, your more serious things happen. People die in your life. Uh, your partner leaves you. Um, a business deal fails, whatever happens. There, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong in this world, as we know. And so then what that triggers in us is a, is a negative emotional reaction. And so we have this tendency to go, I, I feel very uncomfortable with this, and I can't deal with this, so I'm going to project it out. I'm going to get rid of it by uh, accusing, blaming, complaining uh, someone else. And that doesn't work, because you're just going to, you're just going to recreate that, that emotion. You're just fueling the ego's fire. Um, and so the next time something negative happens, you react again. And the more reactive you get, the more the, and the more you allow the ego to control your mind, the less happy you're going to be. Um, and um, and then you seek for other solutions. Then uh, we start to uh, to look for uh, ways out of that pain um, that are not changing our mind, because that's the only real way. Um, so um, we might drink to excess. We might take drugs. Uh, we might uh, go shopping. We might watch TV. Uh, we might get addicted to sex or porn. Um, whatever addiction it is, it's just a symptom of this underlying problem, which is in the mind. Unless you address that problem, uh, you never really get to the root cause of the issue. You're just going around and around uh, in the illusion, in, the, in the, the outer manifestations of the problem, without really getting to the, uh, to the root of the problem. So, if uh, what I've said to you makes sense, um, I'd like to invite you to uh, attend a, a free webinar that I'm running this Thursday in which I'll unpack some, some of this thinking and I'll be doing a 10-step letting go process which really um, shows you how to let go of anything, any stressful negative thought or emotion that you can encounter, that you can experience. This process um, can help you to let it go um, and really apply this philosophy that I've just given you. So it's actually quite a simple philosophy, but to do it is not easy because the ego has um, has a tremendous uh, power. We've given it power because we've listened to it for so long. And so uh, we need a process. We need um, tools. We need processes, techniques to help us to, uh, to let it go. So um, join me this Thursday evening uh, at 7 p.m. UK time, 8 p.m. South African time for this uh, free webinar on uh, how to let go of any negative stressful thought or emotion in minutes, uh, sleep better, and find your flow in life uh, without uh, having to uh, spend money on alcohol, uh, pills, or therapy pills. That's the full title of the webinar. Um, so if, uh, if it appeals to you, you can go to um, theaolg.online. That's the, T-H-E-A-O-L-G dot online. Um, for um, uh, more information and you can book your place there uh, and I hope you'll accept this invitation and join me I hope to connect with you on uh, Thursday evening um, so just a, just a quick note about um, where I want to take these, um, these daily inspirational quotes and reflections uh, I want to do one sort of quote and reflection uh, and then 
one, what I'm going to call a life hack um, every alternate day. So uh, a very specific tool or technique or uh, something that you can, uh, you can actually act on, that you can do, um, that you can take away and go, okay, if I apply that in my life, it's going to um, fundamentally improve my life. So we'll have one sort of more philosophical quote and reflection, which you need, and then one more practical, uh, what I call uh, life builder, a life hack. Um, so tune in every day. I'll be doing them uh, every day, uh, except Fridays. I need one day off. Um, Fridays the day off to my webinar. I've got a lot to do. So Friday I'm going to take off, but um, uh, every other day there'll be one posted on the uh, Facebook page. If you go to lifepool.com, um, you can... Um, like the page and you'll get notified about all the posts. I'm also posting it on YouTube. Um, and uh, go, if you'd like to sign up to my mailing list and you're not on my mailing list, go to um, uh, my blog page. Uh, so it's Jonathan Quayle. Uh, in fact, just go to johnoquayle.com. johnoquayle.com, J-O-N-O-Q-U-A-I-L.com and um, you can um, sign up there. So I put all these, uh, these uh, URLs in this post and uh, you can see them on the screen now. Um, so um, go to the theaolg.online if you want to uh, book for the webinar on uh, Thursday, um, johnoquail.com um, for um, uh, my blog where you can see some of these past uh, posts and recordings as well if you're interested in, in catching up on what I've done over the past week. And you can sign up to my mailing list if you're not already on that. So thank you for listening and uh, look forward to connecting with you again um, tomorrow. Have a, have a great week in the meantime and, uh, and a great uh, rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for listening.